Welcome to the Visualizing the Book of Mormon Fraud video. Time frame of the Book of Mormon from 2200 BC to 350 AD. Okay, we have Lehi and his family coming across the Atlantic Ocean from Jerusalem to the Americas. And if you notice, there is an arrow pointing to the Liahona. Okay, we have another picture of the Liahona. If you look at that white arrow, it's pointing to it. Looks like uh, Lehi is again showing it to his family and some other onlookers. Okay, Alma, chapter 37, 38 through 40. I have somewhat to say concerning the thing which our fathers called a ball or director, or our fathers called it a Liahona, which is being interpreted a compass, and the Lord prepared it, and behold, there cannot any man work after the manner of so curious a workmanship. And behold, it was prepared to show unto our fathers the course which they should travel in the wilderness. And it did work for them according to their faith in God. Therefore, if they had faith to believe that God could cause that those spindles should point the way that they should go, behold, it was done. And then above we have a picture of Alma. Okay, so from the Book of Mormon, it's obvious that they were talking about a compass, and it even uses the word compass. However, the compass is widely recognized to have been invented in China about 1100 AD, which is later than Book of Mormon times, and re remains of a compass have never been found in ancient America. Okay, here we have Helaman and his stripling warriors uh, mentioned in the Book of Mormon, and we have an arrow pointing to his horse. Horses are mentioned 14 times in the Book of Mormon and are portrayed as an integral part of the cultures described. There is no evidence that horses existed on the American continent during the time frame of the Book of Mormon. Horses evolved in North America, but are believed to have become extinct on the American continent at the end of the Pleistocene era, long before Book of Mormon times. Horses did not reappear in the Americas until the Spaniards brought them from Europe. They were brought to the Caribbean by Christopher Columbus in 1493 and to the American continent by Hernan Cortez in 1519, long after Book of Mormon times. So we know that there was no Book of, uh, horses in the Book of Mormon. And the picture above, we have a picture of a Pleistocene horse. So some apologists that were concerned about this issue brought up the idea that maybe the Native American Indians actually rode tapers for horses. Ha ha ha. So here we have Moroni standing on a mound here and a bunch of what looks to be steel swords pointing up at him and he holding a steel sword. So in the Book of Mormon we have Ether chapter 7 verse 9. He, Shul, came to the hill Ephraim and he did molten out of the hill and made swords out of steel for those whom he had drawn away with him. And after he had armed them with swords, he returned to the city Nehor and gave battle unto his brother Korahor. So here we have in the Book of Mormon a mention of steel swords. The Book of Mormon makes numerous references to swords and their use in battle. Shul in the Book of Ether made steel swords, as we saw in the last slide. Warriors in pre-Columbian Mesoamerica, which is Book of Mormon times and Book of Mormon place, used wooden clubs with blade-like obsidian flakes. And you can see the picture above as an example. Purdue University archaeologist Kevin J. Vaughn said, even though ancient Andean people, which were in South America, smelted some metals such as copper, they never smelted iron, which is needed to make steel. So they never smelted iron like they did in the Old World. Metals were used for a variety of tools in the Old World, such as weapons, while in the Americas, metals were used as prestige goods for the wealthy elite. So we know that there was no steel swords in Book of Mormon times. Okay, for another example of steel in the Book of Mormon, we can go to 1 Nephi 16, 18. I, Nephi, went forth to slay food. Behold, I did break my bow which was made of fine steel. And after I did break my bow, behold, my brethren were angry with me because of the loss of my bow, for we did obtain no food. 
So Nephi has a steel bow, which is impossible. Okay, so we have Samuel the Lamanite standing up on a wall here. This is more uh, Book of Mormon art. And if you look at the white arrows, they're pointing at bows. And they look to be steel bows. Alright, so here is a visualization of the Jaredite boats coming across the Atlantic Ocean. And you'll notice that there's no windows. And we're going to read a passage as to why that is. Okay, so Ether 2, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the brother Jared, What will ye that I should do, that ye may have light in your vessels? For behold, ye cannot have windows, for they will be dashed in pieces. So here we have the brother of Jared up here looking at his stones. That's what they used in their boats to create light. But they could not have windows. Now we're going to see why the use of the word windows doesn't make sense for Book of Mormon times. The Book of Mormon describes that the Jaredite people were familiar with the concept of windows near the time of the biblical Tower of Babel. That's about the time when they came over from the Old World to the Americas. And that they specifically avoided crafting windows for lighting in their covered seagoing vessels because of fears that they would be dashed into pieces during the ocean voyage. Transparent window panes are a far more recent invention dating to the 11th century AD, which was far after Book of Mormon times. And they were invented in the 11th century in Germany. So the use of the word windows in the Book of Mormon makes no sense. Other items mentioned in the Book of Mormon that did not exist in the Americas during Book of Mormon times are elephants, cattle, goats, pigs, barley and wheat, chariots, silk, scimitars, and calendars. All these things do not make sense to be mentioned in Book of Mormon times. They did not exist in that time or place. Where to go to find more information? You can go to the anachronisms in the Book of Mormon Wikipedia article. And here is a picture of an example of an anachronism.